So how much of coding? How much of coding do we need? Every data structure will be thought. Everything behind that, all the logic, all how behind the scenes it works, everything will be thought. So how much you need to know initially is the most basic in any language is variable creation or variable declaration. Uh, let me call it as variable declaration. That's the first thing. Basically, data structures, DSA, data structures and algorithm. The data structure part here, D stands for data, means you're given some data. Based on that, some question will be asked. Like given two cities, A and B, graph problem I'm discussing, A and B. What is the shortest path from A to B? So this and this will be represented as a data and you have to derive an algorithm to find the shortest path. So everything is data here. That's why DSA. So at least you should know how to create variables. Like how do you create simple primitive type like int, string, and so on. Or let's say arrays. Arrays are group of, uh, group of related data together. Or objects. How do you create objects? So this much is the minimal expectation. That's it. Nothing complicated. Apart from that, you should be knowing the basic if else. If else, that's it. If else, if else, if. And that's enough. So that is control structures. Apart from that, what else do you think? Can you tell me in the chat? The most minimum thing. Looping. Yes, exactly. Looping. looping. So whenever you have a statement that you want to repeat again and again, you do looping. So basically in most of the language, we do have while and for loop, both are same. So this much uh, is sufficient. So just this much I'm expecting, you know, variable declaration in any of the language you are comfortable with. So there is no hard rule that you should know this. If you know Java, well, it's great because most of the languages are similar to it. But Python C, C is similar to Java, so no problem. Python or any other, Golang. Anuj, just saying something. Yes, uh, I can't hear you properly. Hello? Mm, yeah, there is no pitch in the voice. I mean, it's like echo. Can't hear you. Now, okay. Maybe you can type in the chat. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll answer that. Okay. So only this much is what I'm expecting. Apart from this, like let's say hash map or any other thing, we will teach it in the class itself. So basics of programming with this much. How do you declare a variable, some if else conditions and looping. This much, if you know, we can, we are good to start. But yeah, even if somebody would actually have doubt on loop, I would still explain it, but I'm expecting everybody already knows it. So no problem. So that's the coding part. Then now let us continue uh, and discuss about interview. So Anuj, you can ask that question, whatever you had in the chat, I'll answer. So let's discuss about interviews. So where does this DSA come? So most of the product-based companies, uh, all the top ones and also all the most of the product-based companies, they expect that the candidates are good with DSA. So that's how they filter the candidates. So let's say somebody is very good with web development or mobile dev, like app development or anything or anything else. You might be very good with HTML, CSS, React and so on, or in mobile development, let's say, you know, React Native, Flutter, so on. But the first thing that they would uh, expect from you is you're good with logic building, like given a business problem, you can solve it nicely. So for, in order to test that, they will check your DSA knowledge, how much DSA you know. So maybe the most common pattern is you'll have us after your profile is shortlisted. Let's say you have applied to a product based company or let's say the interviewer only reached out to you. They will shortlist your profile. First round, they will uh, tell you'll get an assessment. So it will be an online assessment. So I know just asked something. I'm a .NET developer, C sharp. So it is similar to Java. Yes. So you should be good with that. Uh, Anuj, no problem. Yeah, if anybody needs this SE in a specific language, right? Like, let's say you're not comfortable, you need a code in that language. So we will give that no problem at all. Uh, so yeah, first round will be online assessment. You will be given a hacker rank or some similar website where you will be given one or at max two coding problems. And you'll be given one hour or one hour, 45 minutes or something like that. 
two questions maybe one is medium or one is easy other one can be medium or rarely hard online assessment so that will be automated like you know in hacker rank you will have some hidden test cases your code should run no matter even if it is 90% it won't run it will fail only all the test cases should pass then you will be clearing and then they'll get notified that he has cleared they will rarely or never check that oh he almost wrote it but two test cases failed hence it was 90% you would still not clear that is online assessment suppose you cleared that then you will be moving ahead to the next round uh they will tell you have a technical round or a dsa round second round so in this tech round or dsa round that will be face to face either in office or after covid we saw that it's online most of the places so you will have to turn on your video and share your screen there they will give you a question on the spot and you have to discuss the approach front of them and code it along with them in that place your it is more uh, easy or even difficult easy because you don't have test cases so you can write and discuss all the different approaches or you can show your problem solving skills how you think of a solution so you can impress them it's a good uh, it's a nice opportunity to impress like you can discuss this 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 if i do this is so much complexity so what i can do is better approach all these things you can discuss front of them so nice chance to impress them but one more bad luck compared to online assessment is you you will feel that you know your your face is visible in the video so some kind of nervousness can happen so that's the thing but i would say it's more easier than online assessment because even if some of the uh, interviewers they will tell i'm fine with the syntax basically they'll not allow you to use a, a code editor like intellij or something because you'll get suggestions there when you press a dot you'll get all the fun functions they will tell you to open notepad we don't get any suggestion but they will tell most of the times that syntax is fine give me the logic so you can write quickly some non working code they will understand right if something syntax is not correct it's fine so they do not have any test cases most of the times they will tell just write the code and they will verify okay it's working sometimes they might tell you to run and take some sample input so that is the second round you might have another similar round with another interview or directly you will move to the next round you might have two rounds in that dsa or one round so the next round will be any idea what will be Manager. yeah it will be a system design round so what do you mean by uh, system designing so first of all you showed that you know you are having your you, your resume is shortlisted now you have shown them that you know dsa very well you have cleared all that now they will check how well you know to build systems system in the sense some application let's say facebook instagram how do you really build it apart from the html css front end back end and so on how do you design it as a system where it can support millions of users what kind of database you will use so those are called uh, high level design hld where you will tell that you will take so and so database so and so like architecture and everything high level not really coding level you will not show any coding there it's just a diagram and explanation and trade offs you will discuss whether you will take a no sql database whether you will take a sql database and so on a uh, load balancer will be there you might have some idea right so that's the hld then you might also have lld low level system design or let's say oops round so some of the languages you know right like java it's object oriented language so there if you are given a question on instagram design instagram low level design of that you will have to create all the classes in java like all the classes let's say uh, person class and so on what kind of uh, data you will use how you'll share your code how you'll design it you'll follow all those uh, you know solid principles you might have heard so single responsibility and all that how you'll use all these best practices to write your code so that is lld so system design has two parts hld and lld so this will be almost like the final round there also you might have one or two round at max two round not more so two rounds on dsa rarely two okay sometimes it is just one and here also sometimes it's one or sometimes two depends on the company then you will be moving to maybe manager round where it's just like some discussion that's all you don't have to code or show anything just your general skills he will test by talking to you how and maybe your uh, how are you as a person and so on general assessment then you will discuss after that with the hr after manager round it's hr round where you discuss the salary and so on so this is the interview process 
so now we are here for those first two rounds so dsa online assessment or face to face so we are going to target that now and then after this i think some of you might have already enrolled for system design i'm not 